Let's talk about daily priorities and the concept of front-loading your day. Here's how I recommend pretty much everyone work through their to-do list. Start with the most important thing on the list, then do the next most important thing. For years, I played games with myself and started my day doing easy things like checking email to wake myself up and ease into my day. Holy shit did things turn around for me when I adopted the habit of doing the most important things first. Now I do my morning routine first, which I see as my most important big picture task, which also serves the purpose of waking me up and putting me in the right state of mind to do my next most important thing, which for me right now is writing in my creative work. It makes me laugh when I look back on my life and all the procrastination games and excuses I had. Now, I go to bed early, I wake up early, and I'm done with my most important tasks before most people have even had breakfast. It took me a number of years and a number of lifestyle changes before I went from being a night person to being a morning person. I do know a few people who do their best work at night, though. For them, there's something about having all the day's responsibilities done, having the kids and distractions in bed for the night, and having a quiet house to themselves that works. If that's you, and you're still getting all your most important tasks done every day, carry on. The bottom line is that you need a priority list of things to complete every day. It's really easy to end up depressed when life isn't the way that you want it to be, and you don't feel like you're making progress towards a better life. Daily progress can make an unbearable life bearable for long enough that it gets better. There's not a lot of hope for a better future if you're not making progress. If you're not completing your most important life-changing tasks every day, you need to rethink the order you're doing things and decide whether or not some things even need to be done. Not completing the most important tasks that you've outlined for yourself could also indicate a lack of motivation or interest in life. Dopamine is your body's drug of motivation. I addressed this most common issue head-on on day two with dopamine detox principles. In a couple of weeks, I'll be going over dopamine detoxing to rebalance your system. I'm only calling it dopamine detoxing because that's what trendy people on the internet are calling it. Dopamine rebalancing or dopamine fasting is probably more accurate. If you don't start with the most important things first, you may run out of steam before you get to them. Do your most important and most difficult activities first. It'll set the tone for the rest of your day and be a load off your mind.